No way, I've just found a pair of Nike shocks. These things sell for a hundred bucks. Look, that's my comp right there. They're only $25. I think this is a steal. We've also got the silver and pinks as well. There's two of them. They should both go for about 90 bucks. And oh, no way, look at that. Wow. Would you look at that? I've also got a pair of Air Max 95s. These should go for, well, pretty much a hundred dollars as well. Let's call it $250 for 75 spent. So the aim of this video today is to try and find 30 items that we can sell for a profit on eBay. It's what I do full time and I think 30 would be a pretty cool haul. Now, I've already found what I deem to be one of the best finds I've ever had. It was the first store that I went in. I've found a few other goodies that I've shown you guys already, but this find, I'm gonna save it for the end of the video. Please stick around for it. It's a 0.001% chance, I reckon. An absolutely impossible find. So I'll save that for the end. Let's get back into the next one. This was definitely a nostalgic find for myself. I'm an AFL guy, I love the Brisbane Lions, and back in 1997 when these toys first came out, I was just a little seven-year-old, so these were really cool to see. We've got Alistair Lynch, we've got Craig Lambert here as well, and we've got Michael Voss, three people that I idolise. So these toys I definitely had when I was growing up, but I hadn't seen them for a good 20 years since. Now, they were all going for $4. I actually had eight sets of the same player. Individually on eBay, these things are selling for about $15 to $20. So I think I might be able to sell them for about 45, but I wanted to see them if I could get a bit cheaper. She said if you're going to take all 26, she'll do it for $2 each. Lovely. And we've got another box out the back if you even need more. Oh, do you really? Yeah. <laughs> we do. Yeah. How many more do you need? Thanks, James. Looks like a few. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm real. I can always take your name and number if we find more. For sure. These two boxes. How many are there? It was. So, one, two, three, four, five, six in a box. Six in a box, so number 12, so that's 38 and two bucks, eh? All right, let's do it. How's that? Yep. Sound good. Happy eight. This was a pretty crazy DVD find. Winners and losers, the full six seasons. Uh, a complete series set, it sells for a good $100. And I was wrapped to find this one for just the 13 bucks. I've also got another golden rule when it comes to DVDs. Don't buy anything that doesn't make you profit. And that was certainly the case with this one. I don't touch this stuff, not gonna touch this stuff. Make sure you stick around because I've got a little bit more of a story with regards to this Heart of Dixie DVD. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up for $6 for very good reason. Twilight Zone, I've also got this as well. We've got season five, it's brand new and sealed, just the $8. That one turns into about 30 bucks, so that was a great little turnaround. And I've got some video games down here as well. The first one here, uh, this was actually brand new and sealed on the PS4, and that one goes for about 45 bucks. So I'm pretty stoked to pick that up for three. And then the order, 1886 as well. Doesn't go for too much money, just I think about 12 to $13, uh, but I just couldn't say no. They were the only PS4 games in store. I moved into the next category and we're looking at some hats. And guys, you know how much I love my hats. So I've been able to find some absolute crackers here. McTavish Surfboards. It's a very good local Byron Bay surf brand here in Australia. $4 for this one here. I should be able to convert that for about 30. I found a second one hiding on the floor here as well. So really good brand. Make sure you're finding it. The hats can turn around for some great money on eBay. Uh, this one here as well, Los Hermanos Howler. You wouldn't believe the comps on this one, guys. Going for pre-owned around about 50 to $80. You heard that correctly, and I'm just paying the $3 for it here in store. Now, I found this to be fascinating. We've got the heart of uh, Dixie here. Seasons one to four is a complete set. I've picked up season two, I've paid $6. Now, here in Australia, it goes for some pretty decent money. I'm around sort of 70 to $90 in pre-owned condition. But what I found fascinating was it has spiked dramatically over in the US. Uh, season three, oh, granted I've got season two, but season three especially, I'm not sure the reason as to why, uh, it was selling for two to $300 in pre-owned condition. It must be a really hard DVD and a very sought after DVD to be found in the US. The point that I'm trying to make here is don't always just rely on the comps you're seeing within your own country. Have a look uh, elsewhere if you're doing the international postage because it might be worth a little bit more somewhere else. That's where we're going next. Still sourcing my Bulls merchandise whenever I see it. This Zach Levine basketball jersey is a ripper. I think it's pretty genuine as well, and I'm paying just the five bucks. I've also got this one as well, Ohio State Buckeyes. This was in pretty decent condition. It was a men's extra large, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that up as well. Don't anticipate a huge turnaround for it. 
but just still happy to get my hands on it. Also picked up a pair of shoes here as well. We've got the Nike Metcons, very much a staple for me when I'm out sourcing my shoes. So to find these for a well, a pretty decent price there. I'm happy to go ahead with the purchase on those. I've also got these Nike Revolution running shoes as well. Just 12 bucks for a pair of Nikes. I'll take that any single day of the week. So that was also another really good grab. So two pairs of shoes. Also picked up a G-Star watch here as well. Wasn't sure about this one. Don't really play in the watch game too much, but I know that G-Star's a good brand. It was only $8 and that was looking pretty good to me. So hopefully some good money. Ah yes, the sports jerseys. This was a genuine one. Love the look of this one, um, but unfortunately the price tag on it was simply horrendous. Actually, the entire store was horrendously priced. $25, there were shirts for 20, there were jumpers for 30. I had to get out of there. To everybody who's watching, don't buy it, I'm out. This day is just getting better and better. I was gonna go into the next thrift store and in the end, I've actually had to dart off to go and pick something up on Facebook Marketplace. I've just seen this pop up. It's only been up for two minutes, which is always the case with the best buys. And the other thing is you kind of have to go and get it right away before somebody else you know, wants to pay a bit more to get their hands on it. So this guy has agreed to the price. It's a crazy find. I'm gonna go and grab it right now and we'll save that as well for the end of the video because I'm gonna need some time to dig through it. Yeah, mate. All right, let's go grab it. Hey, mate. How are you? Yeah. Cool, so that's that box there. Sweet. Uh, now, here I was thinking I was picking up an Xbox bundle with 100 games, but he also had this as well. It was a Nintendo 2DS console. It was fully boxed up, and it had an additional 60 games. He wanted 250 bucks for it, and I couldn't say no. Yeah, mate. Appreciate it, mate. Should be 500. Anyway. That's great. More than I thought I'd come for. Yeah, I was going to offer it before you, sh you left, and I was like, ah, I'll show it when it gets out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Damn, so just like that, guys, $500 has been spent. Pretty crazy. I couldn't pass up the Nintendo DS bundle. It was 60 odd games, a good console. Uh, and it was boxed as well. So I should be able to get 150 bucks, I would imagine, for the console, uh, which means that I was in my head paying, uh, paying $100 for 60 games, which seemed like a no-brainer as well. So $500 spent, two console bundles secured, uh, but I've got to get back home and sift through it all, pull out the games that are worth a bit of money. Hopefully the Xbox bundles have got one or two rippers in there uh, from an individual game perspective, but I'll take you through all of that at the end, as well as what I've always wanted to do with this video, show you my number one find. Stick around. Now these are a great pair of shoes. The Nike Air Max 270s, $25. It was just the color tone of those that made me pass. They just seemed a little bit dirty. Now these were a really good pair of shoes as well. 30 bucks for a pair of combat boots. I had to leave them behind though. I saw these, these were an awesome pair of shoes, but it was the sole. The sole was the concern. They felt like they might've been a bit slippery. It was a pretty good day for shoes though, because these Nike Element 87s go for some fantastic money as well. I'm paying just the 15 and they should convert into about 100. So they also seem like a bit of a no-brainer. And the shoe finds just kept on coming. These were the Adidas Ultra Boost women's running shoes. They're actually a fantastic pair of shoes to be finding. The resale value on these is always good, but the sell-through rate is pretty decent as well. Just a $10 purchase price. That's pretty cheap for my area. I should be able to sell them for about 45. Here's a great brand as well, Merrill. I didn't actually end up going with the purchase of these, but these were the Moab Mids. And uh, look, there was a $15 price point on them. Kind of regret not going ahead. The reason why I said no wasn't based on condition. It was just the size that you're seeing there. A six men's was a little bit small. That's the only reason I put it back on the shelf. This one here, Cake Boss Season 8 and Season 9 Collection 1. Uh, they both go for about 15 bucks a piece. Brand new and sealed as well. That always helps things. They only cost me $1.50 on a half price, so that was pretty good. Uh, if you're doing your books, Babysitter's Club is a good one to be finding. I don't do a lot of books myself, so much so that I actually left this one back on the shelf, uh, but that does convert into about 50, not bad either. All right, guys, we are back home now, and uh, I've just spent the last oh, 45 minutes just going through the Xbox 360 bundle. There are a lot of games to sift through. Uh, as well as the obviously the console and the connect system as well and i've looked everything out i've got some price points here's what we're looking at all right so first of all the console itself is pretty much in like new condition it is immaculate it's got all the inner casings as well check this out it's an absolute beauty it's got the manual in there 
It's got the controller that I don't think's ever been played with, and it's got all of the cables in there as well. Now, this is an Xbox 360 Slim console. It should go for about $150 as it is. Um, so that thing is an absolute ripping start. And obviously when I saw the box in the listing, uh, I knew that it was going to get a few more bucks because that's what usually happens with uh, with regards to the video game category. Um, original boxes just always help the value. Now, this one here as well also came with the original box. Uh, we've got the Kinect sensor on the Xbox 360 plus three Kinect games that go along with it. I'm going to do this as a separate bundle and that one should work out to being worth about $50. So 50 plus 150 here, that's $200. Remember, we paid 250 bucks for it. Um, so that's really good. And then over here, we've got the games. I've gone through every single one of them. All of these games here, no surprises. They're all going for pretty much less than $12. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them with a bundle in here. And I might list that up for $250. And that would be pretty much getting my money back. And that would mean that all of this is going to be profit. So all of this here, these are the games that are worth $15 or more. Now, there was one real winner in the mix, and that was Lord of the Rings. This one here, the Lego Lord of the Rings, it was going for about $25 to $30. Uh, it's complete with a mint disc, so that's awesome. Actually, the majority of these games all had manuals with them, which does help the resale value. But all of these games here go for $15 a piece, and that means that that's worth $250 alone right there. Here's some bundles that I pulled out as well. We've got the Halo set here that I can sell for $50. We've got a Borderlands uh, three-peat here that we can sell as a triple pack. That goes for about $40 to $50. And then this one here, um, this as a bit of a bundle goes for about $25 as well. So $25, $50, $50. Maybe 125, and then we've got 250 there, so maybe 375. So 375 plus 50 is about $425. Takeoff fees, takeoff postage. I think we should be able to double our money. We should be able to make about $250 on this lot. There's obviously a fair bit of work involved to get that 200 to 250 dollars worth of profits. By no means a simple, quick and easy exercise. You do need to go and sort of work through all of these games one by one to work out your price. Then you've got to spend all the time to list them up and then you've got to ship them off as well. So it does take a bit of time to generate that money. But buying big video allotments like this is certainly the way to go about it. I'm only halfway through though because I've got another set down here for the Nintendo DS. So I'm going to do the exact same process and we're going to see which uh, what that works out to as well. Now, as for this Nintendo 2DS bundle, I'm actually surprised at how good it is. There's a lot of good games in here and this thing is in like new condition. Literally, the plastic cover is still on it. So I can list that up in like new condition. I'm going to go ahead and list it with every single one of these games. There's about 40 odd games here. Now, there was a comp for this uh, box with its box plus six games for $180. Now, I've obviously got a, bit, I've a hell of a lot more games than that. So I'm thinking maybe something like $300 and we'll see how we go with those. Um, the rest of them though are individual games. And there's a couple of winners in here. Monster High 13 Wishes. That's actually worth about 35 bucks and was almost the best of the bunch. You also had Super Mario Brothers as well. That one's always a standard winner. That goes for about 30. But every single one of these other games here were all going for an average sale price of $20. So have a bit of a scan through those and, and put a few of them in the memory bank because they are good ones to be finding. I've got a couple of bundles here as well. We've got Drawn to Life. Uh, there's a two set there that I could do for about 20 to 25 and then we've got this one here as well, which I thought was kind of cool. Combat of Giants, Dinosaurs and Mutant Insects. So again, about $25 for that set. So say 50 there, plus all of this, believe it or not, guys, all of these games individually, all added up works out to $400. So we've got $300 here. We've got $400 here. That's potentially $700 worth of value. And I paid $250. So I think this is an absolute, actually, to be honest, better than all of that 360 but as good as all of that is, I've got the best item of the day. It's right here. It was an unbelievable find. I paid $25 for it, and it came out of the first store that I was in today. It's a piece of clothing. It's a very cool piece of clothing. Have a look at this. We have a vintage Adidas I want, I can, all over print. This is a tennis sweater from the 19, I think it's 1988. Uh, completely genuine. I, I just loved the look of it when I first saw it. I didn't know anything about it. There's some pretty crazy embroidery I want, I can, on the back of it as well. Um, it's a size large. It's a men's size large. All of the tags told me that this thing was completely genuine. Uh, it's, um, it's even got the inner tag here underneath. Uh, there it is there. You can see the Adidas right there. So 
Look, I had to do some research on this. I wasn't sure I was gonna be buying it for $25 no matter what, but then when I did my research, I was blown away by how much these things are actually worth. They are incredibly hard to find, and there are multiple comps going on uh, Etsy uh, for about $500 to $600. I think there were a couple that had sold for about 580 bucks. Now, I was blown away by that. I thought there might've been some money into it, but not as much as that. And if I can get around $500 for this, it will no doubt be one of the best finds that I have ever found. To be able to find this in a thrift store is just ridiculous because the second it hits the shelf is the second it walks out the door and I got to the checkout and the lady behind the counter said that she herself had just put that onto the clothing rack. And sure enough, two minutes later, I walk in and I was able to pick this guy up. We'll shoot for the stars. We'll list it up for about 550 and hope to get about $500 for it. Fingers crossed we can turn this one around in a pretty quick space of time. But what a find. Unbelievable. It really is the thrill of the hunt, guys. That was a lot of fun today. So much purchased. I'm going to leave you with a video right here, which was another one in a million thrift store find that I was able to pick up just a few weeks ago. Appreciate you tuning into this one, guys. I'm going to get listing. We'll see you soon.